Right guys, Mark Crossfield here. We've got Steve Buzzer. We are up at the university. Hello, Stephen. Oh yeah. This is Exeter University. We're at the Vic Ambler chipping, putting, bunker area that they've built up here, which is an amazing place. Steve teaches up here as well. Yeah, performance coach up here. Performance coach. <laughs> if you please. Um, so we've got some more questions. What's the question is about having a bad day, I think, is yeah, it? Yes, about rebounding from... Rebounding from after a bad, a bad relationship with your game. <laughs> Let's get stuck in. Right, Steve, hit me. So it says... I bet not. There's a, uh, hi Mark. Hello. How do you rebound from a stretch of horrible golf? Oh, how did that not go in? Sorry, are you speaking? <laughs> how do you rebound? <laughs> um, good question. It's a tricky one, that one. Um, to me, it's identifying what the issue is. Possibly. I would say for me, it's identifying what the point of you playing golf is. Or me personally. Yeah. <laughs> but do you see what I mean? Yeah. It's a leisure activity yeah. for fun. If it means that much to you that you want to stop, possibly not the best form of release from your jobs and things that you guys and girls are all out there doing and working hard to do. Um, I mean, the way I doubt of it, and this sounds really bad, but the way I doubt of it is I actually stopped playing for a long time. Yeah. You know, golf is my job. It's actually these videos that has reborn my love for playing golf and playing with lovely people like Stephen and his amazing putting technique <laughs> that I love to go and see every now and then. Um, but I got into a, a period of just playing tournaments. It's a pro-ams, which are hard work, playing with new people each week. Some people don't really know what's going on when you've got to concentrate. And I found it tough and I wasn't enjoying it. And as soon as I wasn't enjoying it, I stopped it. I just, why would I do something I don't enjoy? And I became a coach and started coaching, which I really enjoy and did. So it's about identifying, and for me, what you actually enjoy from this thing that you choose to be your leisure activity. Yeah, no, definitely. Don't and you I, think? Like I, I get a lot of lessons come, do they? They, they all give know, up, don't yeah, they? Yeah, but they don't know what... <laughs> I'm giving up with you, to be honest. I'm going to take that club away from you in a second. But it's, do you mean, what is the problem? Because you, yeah. you can't rebound from something that if you, can't let, let's say your putting is the issue and all you do is driving. Yeah, you mean, go to the you're, right, you're yeah, great point. not out your issue. Yeah, totally agree. But, but sometimes we, we assume that the problem, like going back to putting, we assume that putting is the issue. Yeah. When sometimes you had such an error and then you don't hold the 10 footer that might save you totally agree i so, totally so agree again, it's that. really identifying what the issue is and sometimes the issue isn't golf related it's actually yeah. you're trying too hard you yeah know? oh yeah i yeah i 100 percent agree i think that's great points these make there. i think identifying the issue lots of the lessons that we take they yeah. come and you say what what i say why are you here what can i do for you what do you want me to improve oh my driver's not as good as it needs to be go on and hit some drives and you look at their numbers and how they hit it and you think well, I can only improve that a little bit. That's not too bad. Why don't we, before we change anything in your swing, why don't we watch you hit seven iron from the ground? And they hit the ball continuously out the bottom of the club and they come up short and then they nail a few and they go 20 yards further. All go straight, but they don't identify that they got maybe a 20 yards dispersion short and long. Because they're seeing them all going straight down a flat range. And I say, well, look, that's not good. A 20 yards or 30 yards dispersion short to long is not good enough. Yeah. What happens when there's a ditch or in a bunker? If you get those ones out the bottom, there's bogeys waiting to happen there if you don't get up and down. So that's identifying. So I work with them not only, and I do that in lessons, I'm sure you do the same. No, I, I help them identify what actually the issue is because they come in and they think they know it, what the issue is. And I watch them hit and I think, well, that's, if that's the issue, you're a pretty good player because yeah. that isn't an issue. And certainly, and sometimes it can be simpler than that. You, you ask, if I were to give you 10 balls, aim at that flag, what will the dispersion be like? How many will you hit left? How many will you hit right? And they have no idea. Yeah, oh, I totally and agree. It, totally agree. It's that sort of the, until you know that, you don't really know where to go forward. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's often people relate it to the driver because when the driver does go wrong, it goes 80 yards wrong. Yeah. But let's say it only goes wrong every 15 drives, but a 7 iron never hits the green. Well, with a 15 handicap, you can go wrong every 15 drives. You know, you've got two shots, you've got 15 to play with. But if you never hit a mid iron on the green and you're hitting six mid irons around, well, there's six or seven shots gone straight away. So do you want to work on the two shot penalty or the six or seven shots that you're dropping by missing with that mid iron? A very good point. I think the main, to, to summarize, okay? And he's like a little bit of music there, and the points come in like on those really corny 80s videos that people still make, um, usually golf magazines. Um, is that you need to identify why you're actually playing a game and just try and enjoy it. 
and watch our playing videos. We play good, we play bad, but we st we're having fun. We make sure we go to nice locations. That helps us, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, I'm not particularly that keen on going to not such nice locations to film. It's nicer to go to fun, of course. It adds to the whole fun of it. So identify why you're playing, and then like Steve says, and I totally agree, identify what made that day become such a disappointment and work on not having that feeling again by improving yeah. that skill in the game. And maybe go and seek help for that because you might not be able to identify it because often emotions affect how you yeah. identify things. It happens Definitely. in many things in life. I think I'm gorgeous, fit and just amazing guy. That's but... a bad example. <laughs> you see what I mean? People are delusioned. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, thank you Stephen. Post comments down below, I'd love to hear what you've got to say. Interesting question this one, and definitely one I think lots of people might relate to. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.